Hello, my name is Ness Tilson. I'm a professional stair builder and I've been building stairs for the last 30 years. I'd like to welcome you to this video demonstration of Stair Designer. I'm going to give an overview of the software and how it works so that you can judge for yourself if Stair Designer could be of help to you in your workshop and in your stair building projects. I've been using Stair Designer for the last six years and for me the program's been an enormous time saver. It saved me countless hours, it's made designing faster, manufacturing more efficient and building stairs an all round more pleasurable experience. So this said and without further ado let's get into the demo and you can judge for yourself. Hello um, here we are in Stair Designer and I'm going to just quickly show how to make a stair or using Stair Designer very quickly going through the basics and show you how quickly we can throw one up. Um, start a stair, we just choose the start stair button, a new stair, and this opens a dialog box where we can enter the general parameters, the general sizes of the stair, without necessarily going straight away into any details. We're going to just enter the sizes of each um, flight. Um, here we have uh, the first flight. Uh, uh, the first flight, let's say the first flight is, say, for instance, 2 meters long. Uh, uh, let's give it a width, say, 80 centimeters or 800 millimeters. Let's add another flight to the stair. Um, let's leave it at two, 2 meters long as well and leave it to the width. We can keep adding flights as we need. Um, let's give the, here the floor height. Let's change the floor height. Let's say, for instance, we have a floor height of 2 uh, two meters 95. Um, we have a number of steps, number of rises here that we can add. Um, if I click on the update button now, I click this is update button, Stair Design actually calculates the stair according to the parameters that I've just entered. We can see that the OK button here has got a, a little red dot on it which is, which is flashing. This means that the stair does not comply to the um, basic stair rule. Basic stair rule being for all stairs that um, twice the rise plus one width, tread width, must be more than 600 and less than 640 millimeters. And we can see here that Stair Designer has calculated the stair rule at 572 mil. Um, this stair rule is adaptable. You can adapt it to your own needs through this dialog box here, where you can actually put in your different parameters and your limits of your stair rule. Um, Let's say that uh, I want Stair Designer to calculate the stair so that it fits into the stair rule. In that case, I just click on the Help button, and Stair Designer will try and optimize the stair and say to me, it says to me, you can get into the stair rule if you do this. In fact, in this particular example, Stair Designer is saying to me, if I change the number of rises to 15, then the stair will comply to the stair rule. So I just click OK. Stair Designer changes the number of rises to, six, to 15, from 16 to 15. Uh, he changed all the different calculations and we can see now the stair rule twice the rise plus once the stair width for the going the tread width and the going is now 611 it fits into the stair rule and the OK button has become green and if I click on it stair designer just builds a stair he builds me a plan a 2D plan if I click on the 3D button he also builds me a 3D instantly 3D model now this is a parametric model so anything that I change on the model um, in any parameters that I change will actually be recal recalculate the stair. For instance, I can say very simply, let's change the the step, uh, let's change the steps. Um, well, take away the rises. We don't want rises. We want an open plan stair. And here we have an open plan stair. Let's add a few more details to this stair so that uh, just to show you how we add details. Um, let's add a, a, um, a new post at the beginning. I just click on here, new post, and the new post. I give give the sizes of the new post, and I give the position of the new post relative to the string or to the step. Doesn't really matter. And Stair Designer puts in the new post. Ah, uh, let's put in another new post here in the middle, um, and just get it, put it centered onto the onto the corner of the stair here. And let's put a new post at the end as well. That'll make it look good. So we take the new post at the end, and let's give it the same thing, the same size. Um, same size and position according to the string the stair and if we see in 3d we have the stair now with the new posts right these new posts are themselves parametric every element in the stair is parametric that is I don't draw anything I just give the different sizes for instance this new post here is is dog leg so that is it's 
hanging in the air. Say for instance I want to make a cupboard under here and I want to put this newel post on the floor. It's very easy. I just go into the newel post, I go into his parameters and I say that on the ground the bottom height from the ground is zero. That is resting on the floor. And I say OK. And Stair Designer puts a newel post on the floor. I don't have to draw anything. It just puts it on the floor. That's very easy. Let's put back the risers. Say we want the risers back. And that looks fine. Right, we can look, the stair continues to be parametric and I can keep modifying, playing around with different elements. For instance, I could say, uh, let's change uh, the spindles. Let's say, instead of having a circular round spindle, it's a rectangular section. And we give the length and the width of the section. And now we have rectangular spindle section spindles. Let's change them a bit now to the spindles. I like them to be a bit longer. So let's say 50 mil. That's wider. In fact, I'm going to put them back to longer. It's 50 mil by 50. And let's put it this to 20. And let's put them down here, 60. That looks better for me for this particular project. Let's say that's fine. Let's check now that we want to see what the stair looks like by taking away this new post completely and putting it in a curved section. I just take it away. I click here and I say, OK, take the new post away. And instead of the new post, let's put in a curved section, an arc section. I'll give it a radius of 400 millimeters. And now stair designers recalculate the stair with the curved section. He's calculated the stair with the curved section. He's calculated all the intersections of the, of the spindles into the curved section. And we've got no new post. And it looks, looks quite good. It looks a nice smooth curve. That's what we want. Now, when the stair is built, after we've built the stair, what's very good about the stair design, what's fantastic, is that he's made the calculation of the stair and he's calculated all the different parts. So if I go into the manufacturing document, if I say, what do we get in? You know, what information have we got from the stair? Well, we get a plan. You can print it out. It prints out every stair, every step with the dimensions, dimensions of every step. get its dimensions of the printouts of the strings, the newel posts, and hand rails, and dimensions of every spindle. And we get hang on. And we get the cutting lists of every single part. And we get the the, the total volume, the net volume, the the, um, the overall volume, and we could have I haven't put in the parameters here, but we could have got an approximate cost of all the materials. Stair Designer is going to give us, um, of course, uh, the possibility to export the stair. We get the plan and every single part in, in a DXF file. And this DXF file can be 2D or 3D and can be used for manufacturing on a CNC machine. It can be used for modifying uh, stair parts in uh, a CAD system. It can be used for creating details that are not on the actual model that Stair Designer builds. For instance, a detail would be to make this curved string. If I needed a, uh, needed a mold or a form to bend laminates, I would need to go into the CAD system and design the form. And I could use Stair Designer program, DXF files, to do this. So the whole thing is very, very supple and you can do really an amazing amount of things with uh, the Stair Designer program and the DXF files that Stair Designer produces.